Hey, how's it going? This is the Argonaut. We are here again in the Seleucid Empire campaign, episode 24, I believe, which is very exciting. And Antiochus is at our command. But really, who's commanding who here? All right, so he's replenishing. <laughs> um, so, what do we got going on? We got a lot of exciting things going on here. We got uh, Antiochus II moving down to harass Saba. We have our spy moving over here as well. Up north, Eos is on the move. As he has begun his his slow conquering. Actually, very quick conquering, if I has done. Hopefully we'll hit them soon. And then all that's left is one measly settlement up there. Uh, we are doing pretty okay financially. Nothing terrible. Ooh, actually, we could even get this. That gets plus 5% wealth generated by slaves. Or this is more manufacturing and wealth from industry. Hmm. That's pretty far off though, at this point. We have one more turn till we get the new reforms. All right, so um, let's see here. I think we have our fleet down here, which is raiding. Very good. We're gonna keep harassing these guys down here. We're gonna keep Aeolius there, and hopefully kind of keep everything at bay, whatever Ptolemy decides to throw at us. I'm thinking we distract these guys with Antiochus II, and then we can move... Ooh, we have more foes down this way. They'll probably come up this way. And then we can move Antiochus over to hit uh, Charmuthas. That would really start putting the hurt on Nabata. It's going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully, Antiochus II can take care of this location, and then we'll be able to move down and hit their last settlement. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. But right now, we don't really have much we can do. Oh, Gore can build something, though. Hmm. Gore is... A, uh, not very good garrison. So definitely something that would have a garrison would be good. Uh, only one militia. Okay, we don't really get anything. Uh, <laughs> that's not going to be that useful. Ooh, public order due to squalor is not going to be good for this location right, right yet. Uh, public order's good. Provincial upkeep, mm-hmm. Getting one citizen militia is good. Bonus to garrison morale, minus to band industry, minus 5% upkeep for all land units of the local armies. Or, we go for the growth, sanitation, public order. Which is looking pretty good. And replenishment rate. Hmm. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Public field? Ooh, I don't know. I can't decide. We'll save our money. <laughs> Uh, okay. Antiochus has an unassigned skill, which we should assign. Alright, my friend. My noble leader. What should we do for you? Minus upkeep. Very good. Melee defense skill would be good. Food and growth. Or we go down a wholly new path to fully bolster our forces. Melee attack skill would be nice. Armor and ammunition, but adds upkeep. Hmm. I think maybe we go down... Boost our melee attack skill would be good. He's a very cunning general. I think we go with this. Plus two melee attack, or... Charge bonus for cavalry. Melee attack skill for cavalry. Weapon damage by missiles, increased missiles. Melee defense for all infantry. Let's boost our attack. Let's get that going. All right, cool. Then we got some pretty beefy hoplites. All right, now we can end the turn. That was a long turn, but we're good to go. And then we will... Oh man, we had a lot of stuff we could do. <laughs> oh, do we have rebels here? That must be the case. We'll just squash them very quickly. Not that worried about them. Ooh, Ptolemy, what are you doing? Okay, sending some forces out. I see. Hmm. I would like to build our fleet back up, but right now it's just not in the cards for us financially. Unfortunate. There we go, right away. At least they stop raiding us.
Alright, Saba, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what this army is doing. It's like three units. Are you gonna try to sneak around to take Dura? I don't think that's gonna go very well. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Pergamum took that. Excellent. Alright. Yeah, Rebellion. It's okay. Greek unit upgrades! Huzzah! Alright, Simonides increased in rank, and Aeolius increased. Oh, jeez, so many things. Okay, Raid of Settlement. Okay. Ah, you there, friend. Um, morale. Campaign map movement would be pretty good. But let's go for some public effects, I think. Let's start boost. Okay, tax rate. Yeah, we might go this tree. Morale, morale. Banditry. Yeah, that's all... Oh, but this stuff would be pretty good. I think I think we go... We'll go this direction first. And should we go banditry? No. Experience gain morale. Oh, mercenary unit. Oh, we meant to do this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, darn. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Ugh, alright, well... Oh, we'll go with that one then. <laughs> Can't undo that. Oops. Okay, so yes, they took that finally. Our Pergamum is very powerful. That is great. And we are gonna move. Oh, we're gonna go take Coron. And that should be it for, for them, right? Armenian spears. Armenian militia and Armenian archers. I don't have any cavalry. We're a little beat up, but we'll be fine. You know, I think we should fight this. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Let us end Hayazdan. They sally out to fight in the field. I think this is their only territory. I'm not positive, though. Ooh, should we subjugate them? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Or... Yeah, I think, I think, I don't know if we'll be able to liberate them. We'll see. Alright. Um. No, let's wait. Let's get nicer weather. Ooh, a beautiful sunset, sunset battle. Excellent. Alright. Alright, Thoreos. We have our powerful units ready to tangle with the enemy. We got... You guys, group you. Okay, guard mode. You guys are fine. Put you guys here. Put you guys there. Alright, let's start the battle. And move forward. Let's not run. Let's move up. Actually, let's run forward. So we can get to here. Now, let's uh, let's let's take a little look here. Let's get a nice little overview of our army. Aeos and his powerful spearmen. Thoreos, the heavy Babylonians, and most powerful of all, the foot companions of Aeos. Excellent. And we have our little cavalry contingent in the back here. A little bit worse for wear, but soon we'll be able to replenish our numbers. Alright. Let's see. Let's run you guys forward. And we should be able to start peppering the archers soon. Close to being in range. If we focus fire on the archers, that'll be spell doom for them. Alright, excellent. Let's move forward. Let's group them, and we'll have them charge forward. Excellent. 
Alright, you guys. Let's move you back. That's not going to be the best spot for you. Alright. Thoreos, let's move. Slow mo. Here, let's get these guys forward. You know, we don't need slow mo. Throw your javelins! Our general is under attack. Move forward. Let's go. Charge. Let's go. Charge that way. Alright, good. Excellent. Alright, let's move around the flank here. You guys move that way. Alright, let's run. Go, cavalry. Let's go swing around the flanks. Yes, good. Fighting the Armenian Spears. Oh man, this is a beautiful battle already. Look at that clash all along the front line. Alright. Let's go. Let's pop them off that fire at will. Go charge them. Group, run around. Alright. Alright, move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move up this way. And let's fire at them. Let's go turn. Let's fire at them. Yes, good. Take them out. Alright, Aos, we need you to inspire. Excellent. At your service. Yes, good. Oh man, they're just racking up the kills. Oh man, look at that. Let's fire at them. Good. Alright, come back. Cavalry. Let's go, charge forward. Let's fire at them. Let's fire at them. Excellent. Alright, now we charge home. Into the back! And they break. Excellent. Alright, let's move back. Move back. You guys turn. You guys turn. Alright, good. Now, charge up. Charge down. Those guys are done. Halt. There we go. Fire at them. Let's go after them. After them. Charge them. Excellent. Alright, Aos. Let's pop a second wind. As we crush into their rear there. Good stuff. Let's just charge in, huh? The battle is turning in our favor. <laughs> yes. Oh, they have no chance now. Let's go charge them. And the slinger charge! <laughs> yes. That should end them. Completely surrounded. There we go. Cut them down. Make an example. And make sure they know never to cross us again. Boom. Alright. Good stuff. <laughs> Man, our line just held beautifully. Okay. Let's end the battle there. Alright. Man, that went well. I really like this army. <laughs> They're super fun to use. I gotta get some better cavalry, but uh, once we do, they're gonna be very potent. Just having Aos in the middle there, fending off the front line, is very cool. He's definitely my favorite, uh, second favorite general, after Antiochus, of course. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's a good way to kill him. Huzzah! 
All right. Now, do we subjugate them? Client state or a satrapy? I kind of like that idea, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's subjugate them. That's your command. <laughs> All right. You fools. <laughs> you are nothing but my servants now. Be gone with you. All right. So Aeos is going to move south now. And I think I'm going to hightail him as fast as we can, maybe, over this direction to Antiochia. All right, Aos, here we are. Uh, replenishment rate is good. Though, so, where's the... There's one that gives a bonus to spear-armed units, I think. That might be under this, though. Hmm. I don't remember. All right, so, upkeep. That's good. Cultural conversion. Melee defense. Morale is very good. Melee attack skill. And we're all during offensive battles. Hmm. Defensive skill, ambush. Nope, 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 nope. Armor would be pretty nice. Line of sight. Let's see. Infantry. No, alright. Doesn't look like there's a spear based. Oh, I think that's his retainer, is, uh, gives a bonus to spear armed infantry. So why don't we go for the melee attack skill? Oh yeah, let's go for that, for sure. That's awesome. Aeos is going to be quite powerful. Alright, so that went very well. Got some income there. We have these fools to take care of. That's right, you run. Alright, let's just auto-resolve that. And done. Excellent. All right, let's get back into the settlement. Okay, good stuff. Uh, ooh, we can retrain them. Why not? There we go, Pell tests. Very cool, good morale. Crazy armor, that's really good. Awesome, you guys are sweet. Okay, so, what can we even recruit here? Not much right now, that's okay. Technology. Now, we have to figure out what direction we want to go. Mercenary recruitment costs and mercenary, uh-huh, recruitment slot, upkeep. We got agent stuff. Probably not that direction. Upkeep cost would be kind of rough right now. Let's do... Hmm. Minus two to... Siege. Yeah, that, that could be pretty good, honestly. Because we're going to be sieging a lot. But some extra wealth would be pretty nice. That's pretty che That's pretty quick, too. Six turns. Plus six turns of wealth from culture all regions. Well, that's also pretty good. And we could upgrade our library. Let's go for that. That way our research rate can just skyrocket. We'll get another rebellion next turn, unfortunately. That's all right. Ooh, okay. We got some growth here. That's good. All right. Let's get you down south. Okay. And you guys are pretty much full. Ooh, yeah. Let's upgrade. If we move into their territory and begin raiding, that could be good. Though, do I want some extra troops before we get in there? The Rayo Swordsman. Ooh, good melee attack. And armor penetration. That might be pretty good. These guys have 59 melee attack. It's pretty dang good, too. 62, though, is great. Um, that's, that's some pretty decent upkeep. Let's see, what's our... Armor's 13... Defense is 29. Armor is 25. 
Defense is 28. Honestly, the Peltis might be a better unit. I think they're pretty good. Obviously more expensive. Hmm. I'm, I'm pretty interested in seeing how these guys are, though. We have some pretty good cavalry. Honestly, cavalry is just so expensive, too. Yeah, that upkeep is crazy. Let's move... Eh, let's do it. Let's go for it. Alright, we're gonna save some more money. Ooh. That's not needed. That's not needed. Ooh, we could get this, which would get us better garrison as well. Down at Susa, which is a bit vulnerable. That might be good. Actually, three, two, 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 five, okay. Hmm. Maybe we should do this, though. It gets us better garrison at Susa. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Now, we do have an army to contend with. Poison? Mm, that's pretty good. Hmm. Manipulation and assassination. Infiltration, counterintelligence. Let's move. Alright. So, steel provisions reduces morale and movement, which is probably what we want to go for as far as upgrading. Now, where is that located? Wreck baggage train. Intercept orders. Uh, it doesn't really say, <laughs> unfortunately. I think it's I think it's cunning based though, so we might as well do something that boosts our cunning. Let's do that. Why not? Let's steal the provisions. Ah, you failed. Okay, <laughs> not a huge deal. Okay, so things are looking pretty good. We're gonna keep Antiochus here. Actually, we could even move him out. And that should help our public order for sure. There we go. We could even patrol. It's only minus three. That's pretty good. All right, I think that's good. I think we can end the turn. We'll see what we're in for. We'll see what else gets thrown our way. Yeah, that's right, you run away. <laughs> Man, they're agent spamming us though, that's for sure. We just need to get Aos down to Ptolemy and start harassing. Or at least get him down towards um, Nabata as well. If we can focus our troops down south, that would obviously be beneficial and that army just showed up from Saba, so that's not good. We're not about to, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to remember. That's Saba. They have also a big army, okay. I don't think they moved into their fortress though. Oh, we gotta get a new war target. Attrition? Why did we take so much attrition? Assassination plot. Let's hire bodyguards. Good, motivated populace. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, okay, they're up north. Um, would you like some trade, friends? Ooh, you don't really like us. Oh, we why are not? not? Known as patient people. Therefore, welcome. Nope. Okay. Athens doesn't want to trade. Trapezos, you might want to trade. Be welcome. If I can give you a fair answer, you will have it. Let's just go for it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's Your get some good relations. Have merit for my people. Good. Some extra trade. That's getting 265 for us. That's great. 
Let's see. Ooh, really doesn't like us. Minus 41, minus 73, minus 51. You guys might trade, huh? My Come on. Nope, okay, whatever. <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, let's move southwards and see what's going on. Alright. Let's keep hightailing it over this way. Good. Okay, we got some money coming in, but right now we're a little low. Not a huge deal. Alright, so they have, okay, no army there. They do have a bit of an army here, and we're pretty undefended. Ah, actually, that's not true. They actually have a pretty good defense there, but we can't get Antiochus up north quick enough. Hmm. Not much we can do about this army. We could. Man, they have some good troops, though. Could get a general. That would be potentially a way around this issue. What do we have here? Arabian spears, they're pretty good. Bunch of these guys. They probably have a heck of a garrison. Uh, they do. Let's see if we can lure them out. What's our rating stance? Rating is 50% of our movement. Let's move here, and start raiding. Yes! <laughs> Alright, good. I think we should keep Antiochus down south here, because Yathrib is very vulnerable. And, what we could do is just temporarily recruit a general. Let's do that. Who's free? <laughs> Who's free this weekend for a recruitment? Let's see, anything that doesn't give us minus morale. Okay, so that's bad. During offensive battles, well, it would be defensive, so that might work for us. And, yeah. It's you, my friend. Seleucus. Let's just get you, uh... Hmm. Getting these guys would be pretty good. Ready for battle. All right, I'm gonna pop you right there. Could even get some camel archers. Hmm. Might not be bad. Let's get you a unit of peltists. There we go. That's all you need. Just a little something to deter them. Now, in the meantime, we have some good income coming soon. Let's keep getting you over this way. Okay, looking good. Looking good. You know, we could even get Simonides somewhere else. We could send him down. Maybe we could just send him down this way. Yeah, I think we'll move him back over this way towards Parsa. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We might as well. Mm, we can't poison you. Too expensive. Let's just hang out. Alright, let's end the turn. Ooh, uh. Unassigned skills, Dimash. Dimash, my friend. Oh, very good. Public order. Mm, civil administration. Where's the uh, research rate one? <laughs> is it down here? It is. All right. Um. Minus upkeep, civil administration. Plus. Another 5% tax rate and lower construction costs. Be pretty good. And we might start going this way. And then we can get the research rate bonus. Alright, excellent. Let's end the turn. And we'll wrap up the episode after the end of this turn. So a little empire maintenance here, but at least we got that little combat at the beginning. Looking pretty good, I'd say. We're gonna get nice and big and powerful and no one will want to mess with us. I think that's a good strategy. Ooh, I wonder what you guys are doing. Are you attacking? I'm so happy that Pergamon came down and took that though. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, there we go. So they have a ton of infantry. <laughs> Only one unit of cavalry, though. And we have, you know, we're a little banged up, but I, I think we'll be okay. We're going to fight this out, though. We're going to do it next episode. So thanks for watching, and we'll start off with a bang against the Desert Scorpions. So thanks for watching. If you like and want to subscribe, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.